her a moment. <laughs> Ta-da! The jumping off point for this is this vase. It's super tall, it's about four feet, super white. I know we've got white, but I wanna continue on with that white theme. So I will place this one, I think, about here. Started off with this gorgeous rug and it's an oatmeal color. Plain, simple, but I might switch it up to another color because I'm not 100 with the oatmeal, but I wanted something a little bit different than the typical black and white. So we'll see how that goes. But let's start with this. Now I've got tons of these buckets as fillers and I think that is perfect. I will definitely use this bucket as a filler, but I will need something to place around it for stability and support. Let's see how that works. Let's put this in here. It seems like all the noise that you guys are hearing in my sweet, quiet neighborhood this morning because I'm filming outside, it's not sweet and quiet anymore. I hear everything. This is that viral olive tree from Amazon. I love this thing. I actually purchased four more that I will be utilizing, but it is gorgeous. Let's see what it looks like in here. I'm gonna step back and I'll be stepping back throughout this video just to see what everything looks like. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I'll be using my pool noodles to stuff all of this inside just to add more stability throughout the space. Isn't she gorgeous? I'm excited. I can't wait to finish. I've got one, two, three, four, five vases and floral that I'm putting in this year. I'm so excited. This one was perfect but I added a second one in here because I needed something to give it more volume for the space since this is such a large area. It's about 20 feet in width and another 30 feet in depth. So I needed something to add a little bit more, even though I'm gonna fill it up with plants. This by itself should stand strong. I'm filling the open space that's down below with pool noodles and the pool noodles are going to act as a base foundation for the other floral that I will be adding inside of the vase. Okay, <laughs> <coughs> let's 
let's acknowledge the fact that I have somewhere else to go after I film this video and I am trying everything I can not to get this dirt on me. All right, so I didn't, re I didn't think this outfit out. It's a cute day. The sun is not shining yet, but it will be out and about and whatever. Let's acknowledge that fact. Okay, this, I'm just using um, the Home Depot buckets because I need to fill this up. What's coming in here next is not as, none of these are as tall. For instance, this is four. In order for me to get a six or seven foot, I would need to purchase something that's six or seven. This is six feet right here, but it goes up to about, now that I've placed it and filled the, the pot, this extends to about 11 or 12 feet. So I'm saving money instead of purchasing a 12 foot olive tree probably would cost me upwards to a thousand dollars this is a great hack to fill up your pot get a smaller pot put your tree inside of there and just give it a grounding base so that it holds together when the wind blows so now i'm working on the second pot and i have another one on the other side so we're going to do some twin things going on these are like i don't know three dollars home depot lows so i'm just placing it inside of the bottom even before i do that i want to add some dirt or I'm actually using mulch because it's thicker than dirt and it's light. So I'm going to use some mulch. Perfect. Spread it around. I'm going to do one more. And I'm using this to even raise the base more. So there's two buckets. Place this inside. And I'm trying to get it as flat and leveled as possible. That looks good. Then let's see about this one. That's too tall now. Whew. I only probably should have used one bucket of mulch. That gives me loads of stability. Now we'll place this inside of here. That's perfect. Guys, wait till you see this fabulous tree that is coming here. Ah! Ta-da! Okay, let's give her a moment. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay, stop. This is the moment. Wow. <sighs> She's gorgeous. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Perfect example. You see how she's leaning over? That's because this base is so much larger, so much smaller than the bucket. So now I need to fill that bucket up with support. I am working so hard on getting you guys some of this fabulous floral that I have. I'm working really, really hard to figure out how we're going to do that. But this one's to the... Not one, but two will flank. Faux, no watering, she's gorgeous. Right now, I'm gonna place some floral tape 
and make a lattice so that the pool noodles don't fall out. Or really it's just kind of like blow away because that's exactly what they will do with bad weather. So this time, it's not necessarily to support the floral like we typically do. I'm creating a top so that the noodles don't come out and fall out. Because my floral will be attached to the, the uh, noodles, the additional floral that I'm adding. We've got two vases set up with some gorgeous trees the olive tree, and then we've got the Bocondera tree. This is just stunning. This color is, I can't say enough. But what I love about it is that it's faux. So there is no watering. I can keep this pretty much clean. I, I just hate when that water spills through. I power washed this yesterday and already there's some stuff. Doesn't matter, we're gonna keep on with setting up the remainder portion and bringing in the other two vases. These are white. I will have another white one just like this on the opposite side. You may already see that. There's another white one, but let's bring in a little bit of the contrasting color and that will be the black. I think I will set her right here and create a triangle. This base is something that I've had. I will put in an insert for what this vase, what, what this vase looked like before, what the planner looked like. This has had, I think, three different colors. I just keep painting it and reusing it to different things. So that is the bottom. This is the top. So this portion is new. reason why I elected to get this one, I'm going to clean this up a little bit because it is, woo, dirty and I don't want it to brush up against me. But I chose this one because of what's going on in the perimeter area of the front yard. The larger sister to this one is sitting as a base for three fountains that are in the front yard. This has the rounding, but it has some detail here. And yeah, it's just gorgeous. I love that contrast for the white, white, black. Okay, what do you guys think? What do you think of that one in the corner? I think she's cute, yes. She's cute, she's cute. Let's get the other vase. Boom. Now, if I didn't mention, both of these were at Home Depot for 30 bucks. So run, don't walk. There's different colors. I'm using the white color in the back this year. This is the black for $34. She's a killer. I've got other buckets that I'll be placing inside for the floral. Again, you don't need to fill this entire thing up with flowers. Insert your bucket, use less flowers. She's cute. Let's get rocking. This side wants to be challenging because it knows that I only have an hour to finish. Adding the floral tape so they don't pop out like what they're doing now. This year, I'm gonna add some wisteria. And this plant, guys, this one came from Walmart. I do get this to the trade. I just wanted to see the difference between what's retail and what I actually get from my floral vendor, but look how gorgeous. 
these were only like $7. I'll leave a link, but gorgeous. Let's see how it looks. So you guys know, one, two, three, there's only five of these. I'm only using five to give it a full look. That's a really good bang for your buck. This is what one looks like. So you can do even three indoors or two indoors for a flower just to drop in a flower. I think I'm gonna use these a lot. It's a perfect, perfect plant. This time, the pool noodles are acting for a stationary to stabilize this pot that I placed inside of a pot. Girl, it's a lot, I know. All right, let's put in the other floral. These are just so cute. Cute, 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 cute. I probably should take the time to spread them out and I'll most likely come back through and, cause they're all bunched up. Bottom of this, finish all the floral on this side. It's looking good so far. I will be bringing in this color here, the purple, the white wisteria, and I'm gonna add in just a few more Boken Dairy, just a few at the bottom here. Let me spread them out. These are just stems. is I definitely want to add more wisteria. Now, these are the ones that are purchased to the trade. And so what you see is they are a lot more white. And the leaf on the bottom of it, it looks more real, but they're, it's a gorgeous. So let's just add some here. And we're using this as fillers. I think that looks pretty good. Yes, that is definitely what I wanna do. Gorge, just having the pink floral, just do a little peekaboo. Now this is what the, oh, that's so cute. This is what the pool noodle is coming in handy for. She's cute. She's really, really cute. to put some floral tape around that first. so pretty. I will light this up. I have little pots that I'm going to place in each one of these. 
this will be lit up, but I think I'm gonna light this one up with actual Christmas lights that I utilize, but this is gorgeous. The geraniums, it just looks like it's, everything is just in bloom. Actually, this is a lilac color and not purple. I keep saying purple, but it's more lilac than purple. Nonetheless, it's gorgeous. We're gonna put these on the back side. All right, we still need to be practical with this thing. So I bought another rug to go on top of this one. And this is my first time looking at it too. It's super long and it has this design on it. I'm gonna try it out and see if I like it. But I think this is really good because it's designed to definitely catch all of the dirt coming into, the, into your home and it says, hello. I think I'm gonna keep it here. The color's earth tone. I am not placing anything on the actual glass. There's no reefs that are going this year on the glass because look at all of this wonderful floral I already have around me. So I don't need a reef. And the other reason why I don't really want a reef is because when I'm looking out, greeting guests, I can't see anyone because the reef is in the way. So I will not be using a reef. This rug is gorgeous. It just gives, oh, it feels so good to walk on. It gives a different texture. I will leave the link for this rug. I wanna see how it fares though for the next couple of weeks or I'll leave the link and you guys can decide. You can read the reviews and you can say, hey, I want it or I don't. Okay guys, that is it. This is my new front porch. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys the rest of the new landscaping and redesign. You know there's no secret, I do love color. I need to get some more uh, wisteriors, but uh, this side is completely done. The only, well, it's not completely done. I'm gonna add lights to this area so that at night this area will shine and it will shine bright. I love the pink floral, the lilac, the white, and this olive tree. I'm going to leave a link to everything because this is just gorgeous. The tall vases, again, they're at Home Depot, so check your local Home Depot. I think it's just befitting. This one's at least four feet, maybe four and a half. That one's about three and a half. The Risteria from, this one's from um, Walmart, which is gorgeous. This is from To The Trade. The bright white is from To The Trade. I will get you guys as many links as I can. I'm loving this new white, this new era of landscaping. The backyard is coming together nicely. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button or subscribe. We would love to have you. Until next time, oh, I will give you a spin around, a final reveal of how everything looks. Until next time, make every single day a great day. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances say I'm nothing for us Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy